Presenting the Excellence Standards Framework of the UK's National Blockchain Roadmap, Vision 2030, authored by the British Blockchain Association. And this framework sets out a blueprint to devise its blockchain roadmap. It's a concise summary of the key recommendations that aim to inspire and reform the UK's DLT landscape. It is an understatement to say that blockchain is transforming the societal fabric of our lives. Policymakers and regulators face increasing pressure to support blockchain innovation while ensuring that the policies are safe, cost-effective, consumer-centered, business-friendly, and based on trustworthy, reliable, and reproducible evidence. It's clear that we need to set a roadmap for the next 10 to 15 years. That roadmap must be evidence-based and clearly demonstrate the societal values that blockchain and DLT solutions potentially, not inevitably, but potentially have to bring to bear for the benefit of us all. Innovations are most effective when deployed as quadruple helix systems, comprising of policymakers, academia, industry and public services. Best practice standards should be established to nurture and advocate extended knowledge networks, such as the centre of evidence-based blockchain. In a 2016 blockchain report, Sir Mark Walport recommended that governments should establish trials of distributed ledgers in order to assess the technology's usability within the public sector. We suggest that the trials could be coordinated in a similar fashion to the way that clinical trials are implemented, reported and assessed, in order to ensure uniformity and maximise the rigour of the process. The most important question is that how do we know that blockchain programs are working and making an impact? How do we know that a blockchain-based system works more efficiently than a legacy system? So it's important that all DLT-based interventions should be reviewed over time to ensure that they remain credible and relevant for the communities they intended to serve. Fewer than 2% of blockchain projects demonstrate evidence of impactful outcomes supported by critically appraised peer-reviewed data, according to research conducted by the Centre for Evidence-Based Blockchain. It is now relevant for organisations to have an evidence-based perspective on which benefits blockchain can generate for their organisations. So what we have are new and emerging markets such as decentralised finance, non-fungible tokens, uh, decentralized autonomous organizations, also called DAOs, central bank digital currencies, and many others. These are highly specialized areas that must be led by subject matter experts. So what we proposed is the formation of sub-specialty steering groups to review the progress of the national blockchain roadmap and oversee its strategic implementation. SSGs will establish best practice frameworks and also collaborate with public and private sector stakeholders. We must be consistent and coherent in its use of the term evidence in the context of blockchain policymaking. A transparent framework should be established to develop and present evidence and to making practice recommendations. We are seeing the emergence of case studies deploying evidence-based blockchain frameworks. We recommend the establishment of levels of evidence and grades of recommendations, something that is well established in other scientific disciplines, in order to facilitate the assessment, development and evaluation of distributed ledger technology projects. Another thing we propose is uh, all blockchain organizations should consider appointing a chief evidence officer to provide scientific rigor to business workflows and processes. Governments around the world have successfully explored the potential of blockchain to benefit operations in the context of public services and indeed broader society. One example of such adoption is the potential for Companies House to explore the use of DLT to manage UK companies' registration records. This is according to a research published in the JBBA. The NBR should embrace a collaborative approach with international players, build new links and connections with market leaders, and share best practices to learn from other countries that have successfully implemented blockchain in their socio-economic infrastructures. A global platform such as the Blockchain Associations Forum provides a platform for an exchange of ideas, resources and shared objectives 
as well as an interconnected bridge to support harmonization efforts in the spirit of inclusion, diversity and collaboration. UK has already established itself as a leader in the field of blockchain uh, with a world-class portfolio of initiatives including uh, the Journal of the British Blockchain Association, the JBBA, Financial Conduct Authorities uh, Regulatory Sandbox, the Center for Evidence-Based Blockchain, uh, Blockchain International Scientific Conferences, the ISCs, uh, Blockchain Fellowships, the FBBA, uh, we have Blockchain All-Party Parliamentary Group, the APPG, and many others. We have the potential to become an international hub of excellence for blockchain. Blockchain technology has created new market employment opportunities. There has been a 300 to 500 annual increase in the global demand for blockchain developers. In Great Britain, startup companies pay new blockchain developers and junior developers up to $60,000 per year and large enterprises pay up to $140,000 per year. The government must ensure that measures are established to nurture an environment that is supportive of blockchain and crypto asset enterprises. Such measures could include regulatory certainty, employment permits and visas, tax relief, funding and grants and business support. So it's important that UK must position itself as an attractive hub for a blockchain and crypto assets market. It is uh, critical to focus on the training, recruitment and retention of the best and the brightest minds in blockchain technology to boost the economy and create more jobs. Blockchain technology has the potential to accelerate the achievement of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals by creating $12 trillion in market opportunities and 380 million new jobs. Taking action on climate change alone would result in savings of $26 trillion by 2030. So, for example, industrial symbiosis, where byproduct of one organization becomes a raw material for another, if those networks are managed on blockchain, they have a potential to generate a net economic benefit of 1.8 trillion euros by 2030 and create 1 million more jobs across Europe. Blockchain technology is moving at a breathtaking pace. Future threats loom, such as the impact of quantum computing on distributed ledgers. However, an exciting new range of market opportunities and trends have emerged, such as non-fungible tokens, decentralized finance, decentralized autonomous organizations, enterprise blockchains, and many others. DeFi currently accounts for more than 100 billion in assets, and the NFT's market surged to more than $2.2 billion in the first quarter of 2021. This framework outlines the essential components of the UK's national blockchain roadmap. Though primarily applicable to the UK landscape, the framework may be equally relevant for other nations with similar economies that are experimenting with blockchain deployment. The benchmarks built upon these frameworks will create a world-class, dynamic and responsive DLT ecosystem. At this critical juncture, the roadmap provides clarity, inspiration and guidance to build a world-class blockchain ecosystem and constructs the key components of the UK blockchain economy. And I'd say that the UK is ready to capitalise on opportunities offered by blockchain technologies. I truly believe that this report will stand as the necessary roadmap to enable us to move forward together, collaborating, connecting understanding the evidence base for blockchain and distributed ledger technology to impact across our economy and society, bringing public policy, academia, industry, and everybody who we need in the mix to make the best use of this new technology, not just of itself, but in combination with other new technologies such as AI and machine learning. This report will be the roadmap for that future, for the next decade, for the next 15 years. It's critical that we all work around the quadruple helix approach, which has proven so successful, and understand that there's a real opportunity for the UK. It's an opportunity we have to, it's an opportunity we must absolutely take.